Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Terrmeister Terrific Tuesday. This is Beliefs Week and I will go into a little bit more about that on Thursday. But one part of my belief system is about meditation. What's interesting about meditation is that it can be practiced anywhere and can be done anywhere quiet. Now, it's usually a very reflective kind of art, but there are so many ways to meditate. It's been shown to reduce tension, boost mood, heighten our awareness, increase imagination, help us to be more patient, emotionally healthy, and build positive ways to manage stress. The, the opposing force of this, with such great benefits, is rigorous exercise. The world is filled with distractions and flies at 100 miles a minute. It's so easy to get caught in the shuffle. You're running to stand still. So let's stand still to run. So I love researching these topics and finding new ways and finding new things about already familiar topics. I found out about nine different ways to practice meditation. And guess what? We already use some of these. The first one highlighted was mindfulness. Paying attention to your thoughts and noticing patterns with no judgment, and it's easy to practice alone. The second one highlighted was spiritual meditation, which is commonly thought of as silent reflection before prayer, or even prayer itself. A third one is focused meditation, where they use the five senses to zero in on something, like internal breath, or something external, like a fixed point. The fourth one is movement meditation. It's not only yoga, but it could be something like walking, gardening, Qigong, or Tai Chi, something very simple. The fifth one was mantra meditation, which is often associated with chanting or using a phrase or a word, most commonly, Om. The sixth one is transcendental meditation, which is said to be a form of mantra meditation that's meant to transcend thought to reach a deeper consciousness. The seventh one was progressive meditation is a practice aimed at relaxation by tightening and relaxing the body in a bid to release tension. The eighth is called loving kindness meditation, where one usually opens their mind to receive love from others and send love into the universe. The ninth and last one is called visual meditation, which is used to visualize positivity and has been shown to boost mood, reduce stress, and some say that visualization even helps them reach their goals. So we do a combination of all nine, and there are some wonderful um, meditations on YouTube that are also looking at affirmations. Um, sometimes you'll be, sometimes there will be like luxury houses, and it'll it'll be showing you all these different rooms and different things, and I really like that because that's a form of visualization meditation that I like to see. Other times, you know, I, I'll go walking or do yoga. It helps clear my slate and I feel refreshed afterward because it is a way that I can just be present in the moment. So there are times in a tough situation where one can take a small breath and center. And then the idea of whatever they forgot will come to them. It happens to me all the time. I'll be sitting there doing a project and I'll think, wait, hold on, I forgot something. What was it? Oh, wait, I needed to send an email. And what that does, what that does for me is that really helps to slow me down so that I can actually progress. A lot of times we think of slowing down as almost stopping, but it doesn't have to be that way. So thank you for joining me this Tuesday. Thursday, I will talk about the universe and how that fits into my beliefs.